Hello YouTubers! Welcome to the test run of the Sisters Sisters channel. Uh, in case you're wondering um, where would I come up with the name like the Sister Sisters. Uh, many of you in the diamond painting YouTube community know my sisters. Uh, Cindy's Traveling Crafts and Ginger Ginger Diamond Painter. They're the nerds who got me into this. So, I blame it all entirely on them. Um, I've been working on um, Flying Eagle from DAC. And I thought I'd give this video thing a try and see if it works. Hopefully my phone won't flake out on me like it has in the past. I'm hoping I fixed my issue. We will see. Uh, anyway... I will hopefully if this works I will post this video and see what your thoughts are while I'm here I'm gonna be going ahead and working on this thing um, if you have any questions for me uh, post them and if I can figure out figure this all out I will answer um, the comments if I can figure out how to get to them um, please bear with me. I am new to this. I'm not a computer savvy kind of person and uh, YouTube is new territory for me. So, um, I'm going to be like Lewis and Clark exploring the YouTube wilderness. So, with that in mind, um, let me pick a color to work with. Um, I think I'll work on these beautiful 3746, which is my arrows. Um, if I get into this, I'll probably go ahead and upgrade my phone. I'm just testing the waters right now to see what they're like. So, like I said, bear with me and if you have any advice for me I would appreciate it um, so now a little bit about me uh, my name is Mindy I'm 48 years old um, I started diamond painting back in February uh, my sisters uh, brought me a diamond painting. I believe Ginger was the one that was the initial culprit. Um, if you know those girls, they're crazy. Anyway, my very first diamond painting experience was live on YouTube. And we were... Um, signed in as under Cindy's Traveling Crafts. So if you want to see my first venture into diamond painting, slide on over there to her channel and watch the video titled um, Sisters Three Way or some something crazy like that. And you know my sisters they're nuts. I'm in no way influenced them, I promise. Um, if you believe that, I can probably sell you some uh, rainforest in the Mojave Desert or something, you know. So, just hit me up for that. Um, clearly, it runs in the family. You've been, I've been in some of your lives and especially during the dp -a thons because I do enjoy those um, I work two jobs so I don't get nearly as much time as I'd like to to watch videos and catch up um, I have discovered that diamond painting is extremely relaxing and I didn't really 
realize just how relaxing until I started paying attention to my Fitbit and I have noticed I can come home and my heart rate will be pretty up there because I've got uh, high blood pressure so my heart rate can be pretty up there and sit down and do this for a while I can go from over a hundred down to like 85 in just a very short stretch of time so uh, I'm discovering the diamond painting is extremely relaxing and therapeutic and watching these paintings come together because you'll look at some of these uh, canvases and you're like what but then you start adding the diamonds and what made this look like a little blob of purples here when you stand back after you turn the the lamp off which is what I have for my setup here um, when you turn it off you you see just how much detail has formed and you're like it's just amazing so not only is it therapeutic you got something to show for it um, my setup here um, I started out I have a lap desk um, that I was using sitting on my bed and doing this well I had this eagle in my stash um, it is a 92 by 52 so it's a little bit beyond the confines of a lap desk um, my next solution when I realized because I was doing some smaller ones and they, they were okay on the lap desk but I really would prefer more room I went and got a piece of foam board and I used some clips, some plain old binder clips, and mounted it to the foam board. And that was working better, and it was easier to work with. But I still had this one, and I really wanted to work on this one. So, I bit the bullet. I made Finger Hut real happy because I ordered this lap this drafting table from Finger Hut. I could have used my Walmart discount and got one for less at Walmart.com but I would have had to pay for it all at once and I went ahead and went this route so I could just pay it out over time and it don't kill me financially. Um, I mentioned earlier I have two jobs. Um, one of them obviously is Walmart so uh, since I mentioned the Walmart discount uh, I work in the sporting goods department I have been with Walmart this time around for uh, I believe I'm coming up on four years um, in July I think it is that's my part-time job my full-time job ladies and gentlemen I am a correctional officer with the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Now, am I scared? You're stupid if you aren't scared anytime you're around inmates. So you have to be not cowering in fear, scared, but you have to have a healthy fear and awareness of your situations. And corrections is not for anyone. If you are someone who is easily offended, don't don't be a correctional officer because you're gonna hear things and be called things that are going to piss you off. Now I you can ask my sisters, I'm a very, very laid back patient person I also would consider myself 
to be a stick of dynamite with an extremely long fuse. It takes a lot to get me pissed. A whole lot to get me pissed. When I get there, I'm going off. I, 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 I will cry. I will get to tears. But that's just because I am so mad. If, and, but once I reach that point, I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm, um, if I've got to that point, then it's one of those things I'm, I'm usually so reserved that nobody expects it. But when it does happen, people just stop and listen because it's like E.F. Hutton. When he talks, everybody listens. Um, I went off a previous job. I went off on a, um, a regional manager he and I never did see eye to eye and that particular night I had had enough of his bull corn and I finally got to the end of my fuse with him and I used my outside voice and let him know in no uncertain terms how I felt and apparently he took heed because he um he saw things my way and it didn't take long after that that he ended up getting himself in a wreck and lost his job but that's that's another story and who cares because it couldn't have happened to a nicer person um for tdc i am like i said i'm a correctional officer um I work in offender transportation. Now, 90% of the time, I work in the office tracking offenders going to free world medical facilities for emergency room visits, uh, ER runs, and medical appointments. And we track for the entire state of Texas. So, I'm on the phone everywhere from... Uh, down at the, in the lower end of the state in the um, um, near the Brownsville area all the way up north to Lubbock and Amarillo out west to uh, El Paso I, I talk to I talk to people all over the state during the course of my day um, now, when we are short of drivers, which happens frequently, I do drive a big old white bluebird bus to transport offenders. And where that might sound intimidating, and like once again, as I said, you're stupid if you don't have a healthy fear going into it. Um, driving a bus, you're... you're healthy fear is twofold because not only do you have to deal with the busload of convicts you also have to deal with driving the traffic and f people out in the free world who see we're in texas so you know if you see a raindrop or a snowflake oh my god the sky is falling let's all panic and forget how to drive so you add that to the mix driving through Houston because the majority of the time if I do have to drive a bus I am driving through Houston en route to Galveston where Texas has the the prison hospital um, yeah so and that's a whole nother ball of wax because Galveston is its own unique experience because half the time they have no clue what's going on. Although they have lately gotten a, somebody working the chain that that does know what they're doing. So generally, if she's down there, she gets us out and in and out in a decent amount of time with a lot less stress. So 
she is very good at what she does and I really do appreciate whenever she's down there um, very much because if she's down there it really reduces the stress because I already know she's going to do her job and do it well um, uh, I do enjoy my job most of, you know, most of the time um, even when I'm on a bus I may moan and complain, but I do get to meet a lot of unique co-workers. Um, everybody, we meet a lot of, of different cultures working for TDC. Um, they've, there, there are a lot of currently um, officers that are coming to us from um, some of the African countries and the biggest challenge is is understanding uh, what they're trying to tell you simply because their accent is not something you're uh, I'm, you know we're familiar with a lot and sometimes communication is is a challenge but it I mean I've talked to people like I said all over the state so I talk to a lot of people and um, they're very pleasant people to talk to you know if you if you have a minute to that you can actually talk to them you know they've there's a whole nother culture that's there with the opportunity to learn about it and I'm the kind of person who I enjoy learning about people I enjoy learning about you know where they come from what they're what they're all about um, when I was in school in high school I was a member of um, a Bible study club called Alpha Omega and we came to the club from a variety of religions and the thing I liked about our club is we weren't about pushing one person's religion over another and saying oh our way is better blah 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 our per, our purpose was to talk to each other about our different religions you know ex explain what our religion is about it helped us understand each other. Well, we, we weren't, oh, I'm Catholic, so Catholic is the only way to go. No, we were there to learn, okay, what is Catholicism? What is Baptist? What is Lutheran? What is Methodist? What's the difference between them? And it helped us all understand people, be each other better, and I really enjoyed that. So, I like, like here in TDC, um, doing this job and, and meeting the different ethnicities. Uh, initially, people may consider my questions as disrespectful, but this is not in any way intended that way. I just want to know what, what, what makes you, you. Um, that's something I like about this, um diamond painting community that I have found my way into um, I enjoy the the different cultures I enjoy the different people I love listening to different accents um, seeing the different terminology I enjoy watching the videos from different countries um, I, I really enjoy getting to know people from different places because there's such a big world out there and I would love to see every inch of it and and but for now my goals are small my bucket top of my bucket list is to see all 50 states before I die I'm over halfway there and I've gotten I've already covered the one that you can't drive to so 
everywhere else, you know, it's just a matter of time. Um, and I eventually intend to be there. Um, I can, my first eligible retirement is, is in 2026 when I will be 55 and I will have 20 years with the Department of Criminal Justice, which I already am vested in my insurance. That's given. I can walk away and have insurance for the rest of my life. The only thing is, at this point, um, once I hit 10 years, I would have to pay half of it. And TDC would pay the rest. Like I said, it's not like COBRA. It's for the rest of my life. If I am with the state until I have been there for 15 years, which is just a couple of years down the road, I will be 80%. The state will pay 80%. I would only have to pay 20% of my insurance. If I stick around until I hit that 20-year mark, which will be in February of 2026, I won't have to pay a dime for insurance for the rest of my life. So that's my goal. I am going to continue working for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice until I hit my 20 years and can walk away with 100% of my insurance paid for and then I'm going to join Cindy's Traveling Crafts on the road somewhere and I'm going to see what all is out there. So, if I have any subscribers, I'll be, when that, whenever that happens, I will, if I'm still doing the YouTubes, I will post where I'm going and if anybody would like to if I'm traveling through your area and you would like to meet up for lunch or some such, we can do it. We can make it happen. Uh, excuse the wiggling. I am plugging in my phone. Um, but yeah, that would be an awesome thing. I have no desire to stalk people at their house, but if I'm passing through your area and you're up for a lunch, hey, let's meet somewhere and have lunch. Um, just to visit and say howdy. Um, I guess I'm going to try to do this, I guess they call it, we call it, this is what they call a whipping chat, I guess. So I'm going to see if my phone will tolerate this for an hour. Um, see if everybody can, if y'all can tolerate this for an hour. Um, if it's too much, let me know. If I'm going off the rails on the crazy train, let me know. Um, I'd like advice on how this should go. Uh, if I ever get an actual webcam that I'm able to get set up, like I have this finally figured out with this phone, which if you can see this is kind of crazy I've got a an adjustable desk lamp that kind of extends over and I've got this phone rubber banded to it so it seems to be working I bought a tripod but I couldn't get quite the angle because it wouldn't tilt and then I started looking at this phone this lamp and I said well, let me figure out what I can do and this seems to be working. I'm, I'm kind of liking this angle. Um, if you don't, let me know. Um, let's see. What else can I talk about? Um, going on a cruise. Um, February of 2021. I will be going on my first cruise. Um, I have decided that's my 50th birthday present to me because I will be turning 50 on February 18th of 2021 and of course I don't want to go by myself so I'm taking the sisters with me Cindy's been on two 
Ginger's in the same boat with me. We haven't been on any. So, this will be our first cruise. So we'll be going to Key West, Freeport, Bahamas, uh, Half Moon Key, which is Carnival Cruise Line's uh, private island, and we'll be going to Nassau in the Bahamas. So, I'll be turning 50 in the Bahamas. So, yippee, yay me. Um, I'm working on this eagle, but probably sometimes tomorrow I will be kidding up a big deer that I bought from Evermoment. Uh, it's pretty big, but I'm waiting until I have a new container set coming from Amazon that is supposed to get here tomorrow. So, I'm going to use that. It's the um, Elizabeth Ward uh, storage system. It's the one with the multiple sizes of contain containers. Uh, it's not the one that's got all many containers, although I will be getting that one. So, if this works well, I may possibly do an unboxing on that. Um, Cindy and Ginger, if you're watching this, uh, if you watch it before you get your containers in the mail, um, go ahead and do your unboxing and do a video for me so I can see your reaction. Um, you should be getting those tomorrow as well. Surprise. Love you girls. Um, big sister struck again. Um, if you see this afterwards, then you already got the surprise hope you enjoy it I'll be seeing you girls this weekend because I will be coming over there I have to work in the morning for Walmart yuck but then I plan on venturing over and seeing my beautiful sisters and hopefully we'll get us alive under the belt and you can get your give me your input on this um, I have plans. Hopefully I can get enough subscribers. Uh, I will be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway. I pretty much already know what I'll be purchasing for that. So um, I'll be getting it soon and possibly throughout my videos if this goes the way I'm hoping it will. I will gradually let slip what may be in that giveaway and more than likely it'll happen I'm hoping it'll happen so I'm hoping everybody will like it because I really enjoy this community um, everybody's a lot of fun and I like the fact that we're so in empowering of each other, um, how everyone is supportive of each other, how um, accepting everyone is of the different cultures and the different lifestyles, because I find it fascinating just to to learn about people. So if I should ask anybody a, a question or something and please don't take any questions I ask offensively because I just want to know. I just want to get to know people. Um, I think people are are just fascinating because there are so many cultures and you're not going to know about cult those cultures unless you ask or somebody shares. So I, I really enjoy um, just live, everybody living under one big sky. And I love this, the fact that we're so, it, it, it seems more like this group is more like a family. It's, it's like one big extended family where, you know, we share each other's. Um, 
triumphs and we share each other's challenges and we're all there to um, help one another out like um, you know for you know prayers when somebody's feeling bad or um, to help out with missing diamonds or or what whatever should be needed I'm the I've seen the unboxing of fan mails just because you know somebody just see something they think somebody will like and they'll send it to them I, I, I love the family aspect of this channel um, or not not so much this channel this community that's what I meant please forgive me I'm don't know what I'm saying got my tongue over my eye teeth I can't see what I'm saying um, uh, like I said Cindy and Ginger were the instigators and they got me into this and I've clearly gotten the addiction I've got I'm working on this flying eagle here I have another painting um, actually two other paintings I've got uh, a peacock a small purple peacock that I'm working on and a cloud runner from DAC that I have in my bag that I take to work and work on them between phone calls um, I'm gonna kit up the deer just because I think that'll be the best one for that uh, it's the biggest one I have at the moment that is not kitted up and it uh, will work well in that organizer system. I have several that are currently kitted up just because you know if I get bored of one and decide I want to switch for a little bit all I gotta do is grab the canvas and the drills and go to town. Um, I was pleasantly surprised a few days ago because I posted uh, a picture of my progress on this flying eagle on um, Crafters Anonymous with uh, Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray and I got a heart from Diamond Art Club. I'm, how cool is that? I mean I knew they were an awesome company. I know they take care of their, their customers but to have the company whose whose art you're working on to give a heart to my work I mean I thought that was pretty amazing so that that was really cool and it because at the time I was trying to decide do I want to keep working on something so big or do I want to switch to something smaller for a while but I got the love from Diamond Art Club so I'm cooking with Crisco I'm about uh, I'm a third of the way done with Flying Eagle um, just gonna keep on cooking with it I'm taking my sister's advice with the washi tape uh, to make sections and I did have was doing smaller sections of this but I just decided since I've got this good setup I can have it set up here where I can just you know, flip the whole page down and I don't have quite as many little sections to fool with and as I finish the row I just cut the plastic off and keep going um, thank you for the tip sisters um, when I first looked at this I didn't realize that it's not just eagles there is a uh, elk or something down here in this little corner um, but yeah this seems to be working out well um, I do have a light pad that I have in my bag that I take to work but my setup right here is I have a clip light clip lamp that is clipped underneath my uh, drafting table 
and I have it pointed up here to the like I can do shadow puppets with this that's kind of cool I have a clip to the underside of here and so I can adjust it to whichever side I'm working on and it covers a big area a bigger area than the light pad and when I'm finished for the day I just click it off and I'm good to go so I'm really liking this um, Cindy said so, she's got a glass dress, drafting table and she said something about some strip lights and I wasn't quite sure if, I, if that was going to work out for me and I had this clip lamp and I played with it and played with it uh, and I decided to go from the bottom and it is working very well I really like the setup because you know, I can turn it and move it to reach whatever I need to. Um, right now, I've got some safety pins that I put in the perforation along the edge. Um, I put a safety pin through one through one of those little holes and pinned it to my noodle because as this the weight as the drills are being put on here, the weight is kind of making the slide so I put a stop to that um, a few of my favorite things that I found I found that I like this boat the best I like the fact that it's big can hold lots of drills and it's got the little dam to keep them from falling out while you're shaking them but when you're done, you just use the, what the heck did I do with that? Right here in front of me. I can use the spacer, the straightener, as a rake and just slide my extras out and out of there. I love this double-ended straightener. My favorite drill pins that I have so far is right now I'm using the blue one, but I have also two clear beads ones. One of those, the tip fell out, but I'm really enjoying this one. I have discovered that you can dip it in the red wax and pick up drills with it. Uh, I've got the handy dandy four placer on the end. So this is working very well for me. I really like it. I have a variety of different colors of these pens on the way. I've got a, like a purple one which is purple is my favorite color. But no, I haven't stolen Ginger's Thunder. Ginger's favorite color is 550. Mindy's favorite color is 327. Just so you know. Uh, so, that's me. Um, I'm the oldest of us four. Three. There's three of us now. I'm the oldest. At one point, there was five of us. It was um, me and Cindy and Ginger. I'll have same mama, same daddy. Um, Karen and Tina were our stepsisters and both of them have passed. So now it's back to we three girls and we all come by our crazy honestly because our mama was a nut. Mama had her own kind of little special lingo. When I'm, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to figure out which color I'm moving on to next. And I think I'm thinking X marks the spot. Oh no, X is not the next one in line. The plus is the next one in line. Do I have any plus signs? I do. So uh, the plus sign is 976. And it's this kind of a 
burnt orange color and that's going to go in his little feet over here I'm liking these side trays over here I've got my little trash bin so, got that I've got the holders for the bigger multiplacers which I have multiplacers from 3 all the way up to 15 this one really doesn't have a whole lot of very much area that's big enough for the 15s so I'm pretty much sticking with the 4 on this particular painting um, so I'll tell you I'll let you know one of the things I'm planning on doing for my 100 view I, I'll tell you some of the ideas for when I get 100 subscribers somehow right now I'm at like either four or six and I haven't even done any videos yet but anyway um, if I do ever reach a hundred subscribers some of the things I'm considering are possibly and this is no guarantees this is just the stuff that's running through my head at this particular moment hundred viewers is a long way off uh, excuse me hundred subscribers long way off um, some of the things I'm considering is possibly one of those Elizabeth Ward storage containers systems or um, it's a colorary I want to say it's a 121 piece tool set, craft tool set. It's it comes with the the multiplacers sized from 3 through 15 a one of those uh, 28 slot craft organizers a little small box set um, it comes with three sizes of wheels um, a straightener the double ended straightener like I have um, one of the little light up um, this um, I don't remember off the top of my head everything that was in it, but if you watch Sydney and Ginger Surprise Unboxing, it shows you everything that's in it because that was another time when I ordered something and had it sent to them. That was the first time. Confused them because they didn't know who sent it. I didn't tell them I had sent it. This time, if they watch this video, they'll know they've got something coming. If they don't, it'll be a surprise. Either way, they will like it because I'm pretty sure both of them have mentioned wanting that storage container system. Um, those girls are my heart, so you know, I'll try to surprise them every now and then. Uh, There'll be some more surprises in the future. Sometimes I'll warn them, sometimes I won't. So, hopefully they'll unbox whenever I send them a surprise. Because I really enjoyed being able to go back and see their reactions. And I still go back and watch it every once in a while to see their reactions to getting the kit that I saw. But uh, that kit or the... Like I said, the Elizabeth Ward storage system, uh, possibly some lockables, 
maybe a diamond painting um i'm not sure but i'll i'll have i'll put together some kind of nice giveaway for if i ever should happen to reach that goal which i'm not sure about lives at the moment because i don't have an actual webcam all i've got is the phone and apparently you can't do lives from your phone right now so sucks to be me huh i'm i have a webcam but it's attached to my laptop um which would be hard to work with getting a good angle with my setup so i want to get a separate webcam for my laptop that i can put it wherever i need it to be instead of that built-in thing so hopefully that's not going to be too far down the road because i think it might be fun to try a live because i know i like watching the lives where you know we all talk and uh have a conversation going instead of just me trying to fill up the time running my mouth i can i do while i do enjoy running my mouth it's much easier to run my mouth when i got somebody else somebody to talk to and have a subject to run my mouth about um i was watching Jeremy Fryer's uh, kidding up earlier and he was dealing with um, staticky drills and I get those quite a bit um, so far my best solution that I have found is I like this tray that Cindy gave me uh, it's got kind of the high sides, so when I've got the staticky drills, I, I dump them down in here because that way when they pop, they don't go quite as far and having to chase the drills everywhere. So it kind of contains them to this one area, and then I just use the spout to put them into whatever container I'm in. So I found that works pretty good with staticky drills. Um, not perfect. I still make a mess but it helps some because I've seen that most of the set kits I kit up have at least one or two packets of the static -E drills even DAC has them sometimes not usually as bad as the other companies but they do have them so um, I don't have a whole lot left to talk about. Like I said, this is a test, and how well this goes over and how well it works will determine whether or not I do any more. Um, let's see, I'm at 48 minutes, and my phone hasn't flipped out yet. Thank goodness. So, I guess we'll just drill for a little bit longer. And I'll move on to the next color in my lineup, which is uh, 3325. It's this nice light blue color. Um, X marks the spot. And so y'all know, whenever you are doing lives or videos that I watch... I, I answer you a lot. I talk to you and you may not hear me because I don't type them in. But I do talk to you because this room that I've set this up in, I have no TV. So when I'm working in here by myself, YouTube, well, I'm always by myself because I live alone. YouTube is my friend. You are all my friends and I enjoy catching up on lives and videos I like watching the whip and chats um, I have I haven't gone to all of your channels yet I'm, I have subscribed to several channels and 
I watch the odd video from other channels here and there, but I'm kind of working my way through the different YouTubers. So if I haven't gotten to you, your videos yet, I will. Um, naturally, I watch. I always watch Cindy and Ginger because those crazy things are my sisters. For those of you who haven't watched Cindy and Ginger, please go over and watch their channel but be forewarned uh you never know what's going to come out of their mouths there's uh they're crazy they're just flat crazy but they're the good crazy they're good people you'll enjoy them so check them out just be prepared to laugh and um possibly laugh so hard you pee your pants so you might want to wear Depends or take an inhaler or something because they'll have you laughing so hard you go into an asthma attack. Um, yeah, that's them a lot of days. Um, like I said, yeah, don't be surprised by what you hear. Um, they're just nuts. And don't go to their channel if you're easily offended by things because they're going to tell it like it is or as they see it. Um, don't be surprised to hear some job bashing because their job works their nerves. I don't blame them. Works my nerves sometimes too. They're also employed by Walmart but in a different town. Um, we have followed each other through a lot of employment of our employee hist employment history. Um, at one time we have all worked for Eckerd when Eckerd was still Eckerd. Uh, we have all worked for Walmart, and we have all worked for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. So we play follow the leader a lot. We have a lot of very similar job skills, jo uh, job uh, history. Um, that's all good because we work very well together. We don't currently actually work together, but we have in the past, and we do so very well. So, we enjoyed it, because when we worked for Eckerd, we were with the store setup team, and we did a lot of traveling, and building stores, well, the fixtures inside the store, not the actual store part, but... It was a lot of hard work, but we had a we we worked hard, but we played just as hard, and we had a very very good time doing what we did, um, and we always had a sense of accomplishment at the end of a setup because we walked away and there was a new business there, so that was a lot of fun. We worked with a, a lot of really good people. Um, people that I miss very much. Uh, Cindy and Ginger left the company before I did and I stayed on and when CVS bought out Eckerd oh yeah there was that old layoff so that's why I worked for TDC but that's all good because things you know God's got a plan for all of us and so far, he hasn't closed one drawer when I didn't haven't had another one open, and that actually ended up being a uh, better paying. Uh, right now, I'm at the highest paying job. TDC is the highest paying job I've ever had, and like I said, I've got the uh, insurance, and as long as I am working full time I don't have to pay for my own premiums so state's got my insurance and 
as long as I give them 20 years, they will continue to pay for my insurance at 100%. And this day and age, you just cannot beat that. Um, and mostly I'm in the office in the air conditioner, but there, like I said, there are days that I have to travel. So, you know, it's not just four walls and a ceiling that you're looking at all the time. And I'm, I'm blessed to be in transportation because I'm not dealing with the same group of knuckleheads day after day. Um, it's different ones each time. And they are locked in a cage, handcuffed, and I'm carrying a gun. So, yeah, that's me. In fact, I've got to go, I've got a range date this coming Saturday. We're going to go do a barricade course where we shoot from a seated position and we shoot uh, around a wall and through a window and then we do our closed quarter shooting where we uh, fire while we're walking uh, so they're teaching us to uh, be able to shoot accurately in a variety of situations should the situation call for it um, so range days are kind of fun because I really do like that uh, Smith & Wesson M&P that we carry uh, it's a really nice little gun and I enjoy shooting it so uh, it looks like I've pretty much uh, just about got my hour in here, um, so I'm going to end this video and see about uploading it. Um, hopefully this works. So again, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Um, if I'm around long enough, uh, I'd like to hear input about what some of you would prefer for a, a giveaway, uh, which of the items I mentioned, or uh, something else, or that you might be interested in, or, you know, throw some ideas at me. Um, hey, I'm, I'm all about uh, making folks happy, and... Um, if I can do it, I will. Um, if I ever have uh, the drills that somebody's looking for, let me know. I'll see if I've got them and be happy to send them. Um, anybody ever in need of, of anything, if, if I have it at my disposal, it's yours. Because, you know what? Like I said earlier, this community is... It's, you know, it's a family, so let's be family. Let's help each other out. Um, I guess, uh, let's see, what else do I want to say? Um, let's see. Let's see, what do I want to say? So everybody have an amazing day. Um, may the adventure of life take you in an amazing direction. And I will see you all at some point on somebody's channel. Maybe mine, maybe yours, maybe someone else's. But keep sparkling, folks. Keep sparkling. Have a good one. I am signing off. And we'll see how this goes. Thank you for being with me. And thank you for sticking it out and endearing my maiden voyage in the YouTube world. That's it for me. 
I'm trying to give this last little second ticker here so I'll have exactly an hour. Five, three, two, one, and bye.